Hey, it's Rando, and look, I've got my album stack here. I wanted to show you some of my pickups from the summer of 2020. A very strange year, very strange summer, but um, Discogs did offer some really good deals, and I got some of these from Discogs. I got some from Half Price Books, and very few of them from thrift stores. Um, they just didn't have much, okay? So here we go. I will start off with a little nature album. This is Solitudes. Yes, it's a it's a uh, ambient album of a guy paddling through some creek or something. Anyway, it's very restful. Uh, there's even a there's even a storm that goes on during this, and the loons in the background are just really excited that it's you know yeah okay. So anyway solitudes and that's uh it's a pretty old album i think it's from the 80s um usually i see these in cassettes don't see these too often in the album form so even the cover alone was just worth getting okay because it was awesome you know rando he's a graphics guy and uh he likes to find albums that are uh interesting on the outside as well as on the inside and well that probably is one of the reasons why in the 80s I found this one to be so appealing. Yes, it's the cramps and it's uh, bad music for bad people, okay? And I guess that's a bad person right right there. And uh, not really, it's Lux Interior, uh, lead singer. Um, and, uh, of course, iconic uh, artwork from, uh, what's this guy's name, uh, Steven, um, something like that, anyway, um, so the back cover is just as interesting, um, look at all those crazy faces, anyway, it's a great, uh, starter album for fans who want to get into the cramps, okay, all right, this one I found at Half Price Books, it is The Minutemen and Double Nickels on a Dime, just a great double album from the 80s. Uh, has, um, I think, all the lyrics right here. It's very interesting. Um, it's just your regular uh, black vinyl. Um, nothing out of the ordinary, but it, uh, it's a nice reissue from around, I think, 2014 or 2016. One of the two. So... Nice pickup there, uh, and it didn't cost me an arm and a leg either, so that was great. Okay. Okay. So, I went to, um, uh, one of our local sort of junk stores. They, they have a lot of, they have music, but the, a lot of it is video games, and they kind of have the junky video games, uh, ones nobody wants, but that won't stop you from getting, uh, good music if you go in there. I did find The Pleasure Principle by Gary Newman um, with this strange pyramid on here that uh, he puts on his face in the back there. Um, there's a lot of power in that pyramid, probably. Eh. Or it's just a light bulb. Anyway, um, so this is good. This has got, uh, it's got cars on it. It's probably the most popular song off here, but... Uh, Metal's pretty good on here. There's a other couple of good tunes on here. Some good new wave stuff. Really like it. And also, he also put out this album with the Two Way Army back in the seventies. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is a very kind of raw, but it's a uh, it's got more guitar in it than the other ones. Uh, less synths, but it does have synths, and it's uh, very good. Uh, so if you pick up one of those, yeah, you probably want to get this if you're into New Wave and, well, really, New Wave, because that's his bread and butter. Okay. Then I picked up this one. I, I showed you the cassette of this that I found, but uh, this one I had to get off Discogs. This is Dial M for... Okay, I can't really say that word. Uh kids may be watching but anyway um so this is uh pussy galore and uh a very good album uh yeah it's got a lot of uh noisy uh noisy alternative 
vocals are very buried most for the most part but uh it's a it's a absolutely interesting listen so uh yeah have to check this one out if you can dial m for mm -hmm. okay then found it at an estate sale for what was it four bucks was the first pretenders album it was just probably my favorite album by him um very new wave really like it a lot um and uh this is before all their uh you know top 40 hits and all that junk uh brass and pocket is on here which that may have been a top 40 hit at one time because i remember having the 45 of that okay so not bad all right another one i found from half price books is bonnie prince billy and this is uh of course singer's grave a sea of tongues uh probably uh a uh, more tame version of uh, what you would expect from uh, Bonnie Prince Billy. Um, uh, I do like it. Um, Quail and Dumplings is on here, which is quite a funny video if you ever get to see that. So, yeah, price books, and uh, I think I got this for like ten bucks. So it was a good, good deal. If you like Bonnie Prince Billy, Will Oldham, Palace Music, whatever you want to call them, um, some good. Uh, um late 90s early aughts uh, alternative i think that came out in 2012 maybe okay so then um this one here i got from uh, my brother-in-law got this for me this is rem's great second album reckoning uh, chock full of good tunes uh no real hits maybe uh, uh south central rain uh, but i tell you what very good album. Uh, probably my second favorite, R.E.M. Okay. So, then I got this strange album, Tobacco. And this is uh, his album called uh, Ultima to uh, Massage. Ultima to Massage. Yeah, I always forget the name of this. Um, but anyway, um, this is some crazy stuff. He used to be the lead singer of uh, Black Moth Super Rainbow, which uh, you've probably seen me talk about through cassettes before, but I gotta show you the color of this. Uh, the vinyl is really cool in here. It is a, it is a translucent yellow kind of, kind of see through it. Anyway, so it's very cool. Um, it's, uh, how would I describe it? Maybe um, he sings mostly through a recorder, so he obscures his voice that way. He doesn't try to make it auto-tune or anything. But, um, yeah, he's just, uh, <laughs> some of the songs in here may even uh, venture into the rap type of stuff, but it's mostly, it's mostly psychedelic uh, indie, you know, it's, it's a double album. Pretty good. All right. Then I got another Cramps album from Discogs, and this is a Smell of Female. This is a, this is a great, great live album. Um, there's only six songs on here, but uh, yeah, there's six great songs. And there's six songs that they don't have on any other albums. So that's a very essential purchase there. So Smell of Female. Call of the Wig hat on here is awesome. <laughs> okay, so that's more Cramps. All right, and then we got from Discogs. We got Cell Se Chic. Okay, this is a uh, um, '60s ye artist, uh, female artist from, and that's France Gall right there on the front cover, who has uh, a great song in here um, called uh, "Last Seat to Be the Field." Okay, which is an excellent song you've probably heard it before you may not know it by the title but uh, there's all kinds of uh um fine ladies from france doing ye um which is ya ya in english i guess but anyway um it's uh on a blonde album too which is really cool i've never seen blonde before but uh there you go blonde vinyl um it's recommended if uh, you're into 60s uh, female vocalist from France. Okay. All right. Then we got from uh, Half Price Books, I got uh, the Dum Dum Girls. And this is 
this is only in dreams and uh has uh the excellent song in here uh caught in one and uh also um great video off this album called bedroom eyes bedroom eyes excellent excellent video you can barely see the cover but it looks like somebody coming out of their own soul there and uh you can barely see the script on there it's in silver it's pretty cool uh, uh, this is just black vinyl okay uh, that's one i got from barnes and noble of all places it's uh vampire weekend in contra and uh it's uh it's cool it comes with the poster and the poster is exactly the same as the cover and uh well it's got horchata california english uh it's pretty good stuff uh my favorite song in here probably is um cousins it's uh really good so uh vampire weekend their second album um mm, is it as good as their first album eh, it's close okay more sophisticated songs i guess no i don't know they're from uh the ivy league schools i guess but uh, anyway vampire weekend and it's got a nice cover she's very cute okay one i couldn't believe i found from half price books was this one the decline of western civilization soundtrack um this is excellent this has uh, a lot of early punk uh it came out in 1982 i believe uh Nelope spheres okay she was the one who directed this and she did the decline of western civilization to the heavy metal years she did all this stuff okay so um this has x and circle jerks and and uh fear um excellent songs by those guys so uh the decline of uh western civilization and it's uh it's a little bit of a beat up copy that's for sure but um it plays through without skipping so i'm good with that all right then i got into some uh some idm uh some I hate to call it IDM, but it's intelligent dance music, whatever. Uh, but I just call it electronic. And this is Boards of Canada. This is a very creepy album by them. Uh, it's their second album, full length. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's pretty much a nightmare. A nightmare on wax. But uh, <laughs> it's very, very interesting listen. Um, you've never heard electronica like this. <laughs> well, if, I'm sure you've may have heard of these guys but yes boards of canada and this is geo getty okay awesome three record album and one side has a big etching on it so that's interesting all right so then i got into some uh some dj electronica and this is dj shadow and this is uh, the mountain will fall very good double album here too by uh, dj shadow and uh uh there's some hip-hop on here there's a uh, run the jewels actually plays on a couple of sings on a couple of tunes on this but uh for the most part it is just an absolute fascinating listen so um as you can see i got that at the barnes and nobles 50 off sale look at that yeah so it was about i don't know 11 bucks nice it came with all these little things like stickers and uh and like stencils pretty cool okay then i got this kind of a strange album by jack white it's a porterhouse reach um quite a departure from most of his stuff but uh nonetheless has some interesting interesting music on it um some things are just uh some things are just kind of a, a real abomination on here <laughs> i gotta tell you tell you the truth it goes from uh terribly bizarre to terribly great so um you just have to give it a listen see if uh this jack white is up your alley okay so now all right then we go to canada for this band i actually ordered this off the Bandcamp website and this is the band always spelled with two v's um molly rankin is the lead singer and uh this is a great this is great like um 
what would you call it? Maybe power pop, power indie, more like. And uh, this is an excellent second album by them. Um, every song on here is, I think, excellent. Um, probably the only song anybody's heard of is Plimsoll Punks. But uh, this is a good listen. Um, show you it's like a translucent yellow. You can kind of, you can see Rando through it. Isn't that funny? Okay. All right, then I got this from Bandcamp, and this is um, this is Zake, I guess how you pronounce it, Z-A-K-E, with a mark over the E, okay? And this is uh, pretty much a uh, full-length album, but he calls it an EP, I believe. Um, but it's, uh, it's probably about 16 minutes long on both sides. Um, it's just almost pure ambient. Um, not like the ambient of... Um, I showed you before on the very first album I showed you with Dan Gibson, but this is more like a musical ambient. And it's uh, got wind chimes blowing in the background. Some of it's got, uh, you know, it's got a babbling brook in the background. and it's uh, But it's uh, it's very good to listen to. And I believe this is on colored vinyl too. It is. It's on translucent blue. And yeah, I think you can see me. So then I got a couple of Bibio albums, and uh, I got the new Bibio album from 2020, and this is uh, Sleep on the Wing, um, kind of a continuation of his other album, which is basically Ribbons, which I got too, so two good Bibio albums, 2019, 2020, okay, so um, probably this is the better of the two, and uh, this has got some good songs on it though too, um, very good for uh, released this year okay so i want to show you though on this one it came with uh, the purple vinyl it's uh, kind of a milky vinyl so this is a very good album i, I have to give this a almost a probably a four stars out of five it is it is that good i believe okay um if you're into uh he sometimes uh He's electronic, but it, it sometimes goes into almost ambient or even folky sounding. And uh, he always sings like uh, his vocals are always kind of distant sounding. Um, and so if you want a pretty good album that's uh, kind of uh, acoustic, kind of it's got a, it's got violin in it. It's got uh, electronic elements in it. It's uh, very good. Bibio. And ribbons now i couldn't believe i found this one on the zia website the zia records website um out of arizona and nevada but uh, rando went to las vegas this year and uh, tried to go to zia records but zia records was closed because somebody got COVID. okay so story of my 2020 right okay so this is Bibio Silver Wilkinson. This is a very hard album to find right now. Um, you find any copies in the United States, and they're they're upwards of 60, 70 bucks for some reason. It, that is if you find one. Okay. And this is just on black vinyl. And uh, this is actually their, I believe, six, his sixth album. Um, yeah. Very hard to find right now, unless you're in the UK. If you're in the UK, you could probably find a copy of this pretty good, but... Uh, this is one of his his most excellent albums. Um, Tula Her is on here, which is probably one of my favorite songs by him. So, Bibio, Silver Wilkinson. Okay. Then I picked this one up at, uh, at uh, Barnes & Noble. And this is PJ Harvey in the dry reissue. Uh, it's got a nice picture of PJ on there with... Well, we won't talk about that picture. But uh, anyway, um, it was great, uh, kind of grungy, um, uh, very personal. Um, anyway, really like the way she sings, and uh, she's really good with this band that she has on this album. Okay. Sometimes Barnes & Noble's has great stuff for sale for 50 off, as in the case of this. This is Slow Dive and their self-titled album from 2016, I believe, and... Uh, it's an excellent comeback record. First one in like 20 years for them. So, it's an excellent buy. Oh, oh, oh. It's an excellent uh, buy for 50 off. 
it made it about $9.99. So, excellent indie release from Slow Dive. Still has a very good Dream Pop, shoegaze kind of feel to it. But it is a modern version of that. And uh, it's recommended by Old Rando. Okay. So, next... Um, I go on Discog sometimes and uh, you'll find a really cheap version of an album that you know is kind of expensive. And, and you're going, well, why is that? So you read the description and it says, well, this uh, has stickers all over the front of it. Uh, and you're like, okay. So you buy it and you get it. And it's a sticker that peels right off. And that's the case with this one. This is... A very cheap copy of building nothing out of something and this is modest mouse and this is uh, one of their compilation albums that is really good it's one of my favorite albums by them because it just has some singles on it it has some outtakes on it and it's uh it's really good um the never-ending math equation is one of my favorite songs by them and it's on here modest mouse this is another recommended rando pick. Okay. So, rando don't like much in the way of jazz, but there is one that I really grew to like in uh, in the days of uh, LimeWire and uploading music, you know, because you would discover stuff just by pressing a button or, or being able to download stuff for free. And... Uh, <laughs> One of the strange ones from the old eMusic website was uh, Sun Ra, was the name of the band and his orchestra. And um, Angels and Demons at Play was one of my favorite jazz because it was just so avant-garde. And uh, I happened to find a version of it at Half Price Books and it was pretty cheap. I think it was $11.99, something like that. But anyway, and now it's got this really cool cover on it. Now, in the old days, it had that cover right there. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. That was the cover that was on it at one time. So, it's strange jazz for sure. But give it a listen and see what you think, all right? And, you know, Rando. I like other stuff, not jazz. But, hey, give it a listen. All right. And the next two, um, I found I found this one by a band that I really like, and uh, it is the Movement. And this is Ways of the World. This is a kind of a really trippy reggae album, um, and it almost uh, adventures into hip hop a little bit and into psych psychedelic kind of stuff. It's really trippy. And it's something that uh, I really recommend. Um, it also comes on this kind of see-through pink vinyl casing. It's a great album cover, uh, great band. They're from South Carolina, but they moved to, I believe, California, um, a la Sublime. It does sound a little like Sublime, too. Um, so, for fans of them, okay? Uh, the Movement. This is a double album, by the way. If you need to hear a track off that, listen to Honey or Ways of the World. Excellent stuff. Okay. And believe it or not, at Half Price Books, they had their earlier album, which is called Golden. And check out this. This has got some really cool vinyl. It's see-through. And it's got gold splatters everywhere. Gold and white. This is uh, probably the most unique looking vinyl I have, clear and splattered. But this here album is quite good too. Whoop, did I get it the right way? Oh yeah, okay. So, The Movement, Psychedelic Trippy Reggae. Uh, something you should listen to. Check it out. Okay. Then, uh, believe it or not, when I was... Uh, getting ready to do this video I stumbled across a couple of good albums from my local Goodwill 
you know, that good story. And uh, it's by an artist that I quite like. And I was kind of surprised to find such good looking versions of them at, uh, at the Goodwill. And one of them is Hounds of Love by Kate Bush. And uh, there's the back of it. Now, it was strange. The last time I had a copy of this, I bought it at a garage sale and um, it was purple marbled. But uh, this one here is just a, it's the regular release, the regular black release of it. But uh, probably my favorite album by her. Um, good stuff. Okay. And I also found her first album, which is Kate Bush, The Kick Inside. Actually, I have it on my turntable right now. It has uh, the great song on here, one of her great songs called uh, Wuthering Heights. Um, it's a very good. This is like the American release version of this. So uh, a very strange find at a Goodwill. You just don't find Kate Bush at the Goodwill. <laughs> so I find myself very fortunate to have found this, right? Yep. Okay. All right. I'll go into my local record store every once in a while and go, ah, what can I spend money on here today? Well, I did find a strange compilation album from the early 80s that was a kind of, uh, had a no-wave band in it that I really like called the Bush Tetris. And it's, uh, it's this uh, Start Swimming uh, LP that was, it's got, uh, you know, um, the bongos, and it's got uh, the Ray Beats, the DBs, um, and of course the Bush Tetras, uh, two songs by each band, and uh, it's on Slash, Slash Records, um, I think, was it, oh, Stiff Records, I'm sorry, Stiff Records, but anyway, um, is quite an interesting find, I've never seen this before, so, um, I don't know, but I do like the Bush Tetra songs in here. Um, actually, actually, all the songs in here are pretty good. Like them. Um, you know, and also when you go into, you know, one of those thrift stores, you always find the thrift store music, right? And the funny thing is, I found a kind of a gem in the thrift store stuff. Okay, because. You know, they always have stuff like, you know, Andy Williams uh, and, uh, you know, sometimes they have that uh, Mitch Miller and all those guys and bleh, right? Well, you know what? I found this and this is Claudine Langer and uh, she was a French singer and she was also married to Andy Williams at one time. She was found not guilty for first-degree murder of her boyfriend after her and Andy split up. And Andy kind of, he kind of bankrolled the whole thing because he didn't want to see his kid's mother go to jail, okay? So, so he kind of got her off, even though they were split up. But regardless, this album is just fantastic. Um, I'm not saying that about the rest of her albums, but this one is awesome. And it's uh, it's got a lot of cover songs on it. It's called Let's Spend the Night Together. It's a fantastic version of God Only Knows on here that you just got to hear, okay? And Let's Spend the Night Together is Stones, of course. Um, there is a, there's even a uh, Neil Young song on here that, uh, that you got to hear her sing. She's got this really tiny voice, like, uh, you know, the French... All the French singers seem to sing like that for some reason. Anyway, if you happen to find this one in the old bin with, you know, thrift store music, pick it up. You'll like it. Okay. Another uh, half price books special that I found was this Easy Rider soundtrack. Um, got a lot of good stuff on here. Birds. It's got uh, Roger McGuinn. From the birds on here and uh not to mention born to be wild it's got uh it's got a band called smith it's got it's got um uh, the electric prunes 
the Holy Motor Rounders, whoever they are. That's a funny song, by the way. Um, this is a pretty good album. You should get this. I'm not even into motorcycles or anything like that, but this is a pretty good album. You should check it out. All right. And speaking of the birds and Roger McGuinn, at a uh, at another one of those estate sales, I happened to come across this version of the Birds album, Easy Rider, the Ballad of Easy Rider, and uh, it's uh, it's not the greatest shape. the The jacket isn't, but uh, the album is in good shape, and it's a good listening copy. And it's as I mentioned before, my aunt and um, former uncle, he, he's they're both past now, but um, she's on here um, with a writing credit. So I really like this album. And uh, it's a good album, too. It's got Clarence White playing his his uh, weird guitar that has that bending string on it that when he moves his guitar, it uh, kind of makes it twangy. Yeah, so listen to this. Ballad of Easy Rider, The Birds. Okay, I think that came out in 1969. All right, and then a strange album I found at another, well, it was a yard sale, really, is this electronic music to blow your mind by. And I just had to show it because, check out the, it looks like this guy is like John Lennon or somebody, and uh, he's got all this mind expansion going on, and you have to, you have to really look in here. I mean, it's like a, it's like a Where's Waldo puzzle with all the things that you can pick out of there. <laughs> so, this is, uh, this is strange. This is a really strange one. Um, it's a little warped, unfortunately. But hey, I only paid like a quarter for it. So, that's my finds for this year so far, and uh, you know, I found. Some 45s, too, that I'll show you one of these days. So, anyway, thanks for showing up for part two of my updated collection.